Alright folks, I'm back. I like to buy artwork off eBay. I'll show you what this piece is right here. Here it is. Buy a piece called getting Brand Bram Barnett. B R A M. It's just, and, it, and the title is One More River to Cross with the Blood of Christ. See? This is a classic great painting. It's got it's just done on old uh, poster board or poster mat board, canvas board. It's got even got a dent in the thing. It's got the Revelation chapter nine, one more river to cross. It's got chapter John. It's got the cave. This is a great painting. And what I want to address when I saw this painting, what really sold me was the red and gray in this. I thought this looked really good. And now I knew I wanted to make a video about this painting. And uh, encourage Bram, if he ever sees this video, to make more paintings like this. I think it's a good painting. That said, what brought me to you in wanting to buy this painting is what some topics I started to realize about. Because one time, you know, when I was over in San Antonio a while back, there started uh, talking to these dudes very uh, conspiracy oriented. Their interests were all in, you know, the 9/11 deal, the uh, uh, you know, all this stuff. You know, when you hang out with characters who talk about conspiracy, be I'm not gonna get into specifics of it because I don't want to start tagging all this stuff because you get all these characters who just want to argue with you about what's real or not real. I, I just don't give a shit. But one thing that sort of the the conclusion of all this stuff would one guy I started arguing with and he was this guy who we watched all these videos this guy named Walter Weiss he's a he's SDA seven day Adventist guy he had these videos called amazing discoveries you should watch this stuff because it's a real good study about revising the entire concept of history based on biblical principles and you have to realize there are a lot of different religious fractions out there who have different you know viewpoints about history they don't necessarily, they don't, you know, there's a different kind of concept. But what I got, what really struck me about this was that argue, talking with this guy, and you mean arguing with him, is that, you know, he, so, so, something that we got on the topic was, does the earth revolve around the sun, or does the sun revolve around the earth? Well, he told me via me, old conspiracy ideas, the, the Freemasons, the Jesuits, uh, the Catholics, they, they, they they sold us the lie that the sun or the earth revolved around the sun. See, this is the thing I realized about what's going on in today's society is that uh, knowledge and what we consider to be a, a founding fact is now going to be considered everything you assume. It, all my, my viewing audience, like anyone who consumes that the most foundation of assumption of anything could be contested and it could be a movement based on the fact that it, that it might not be real that's the thing I realized in talking to this one dude is that he believed with about 50% doubt and certainty that the sun revolved around the earth he didn't know about that totally or the, the earth revolved around the and he elaborated a defense that maybe that's not true how do we know he had these ideas about how uh, NASA and science was inspired by the Masons and, and how it was controlled by the Catholics or the Jesuits. And it's just like, and so you try to, so with this painting here, one thing I love about this painting is that as this dude walking through this thing, it's the blood of Christ. You got to cross this river. And it's about the perception that everything around him, every physical thing has a, has a meaning to it. And whether you, as the person, as the dude, can figure it out.
Thank mm-hmm. you.